Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Matthew Obala, here as you all know. So here today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing uh, a Logitech keyboard. Yeah, Logitech. 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 Yeah, take it. I uh, have it here right with me. So you can see. Uh, I already opened it in case you don't know. So I don't want us to go through the hassle of cutting, cutting. So. I already opened it. So as you can see here, they said it's a Bluetooth keyboard. Yeah, it works with Windows, Mac, Chrome OS, Android, iOS, and Apple TV. So without any of those devices, you can actually connect this keyboard wirelessly to it for an input device you get. So easy switch, take to type style. So that's all we have here. You can connect to three devices, like I could connect three devices separately. Like say separately or simultaneously. So we are going to see today. We are going to know today. So yeah, that's what we have. So I'm going to be checking this out. Very small. Let's get it open. Let's get it unboxed. So the keyboard is here. Very sleek. Makes sense. I like what I'm seeing. So this is what I have in the box. There's a paper at the back. I have this and there's some user manual here. Yeah. Safety manual. So I don't need this. Let's get this let's the keyboard in space. So I get to open this. It's actually very nice. Okay, let's put that aside. Okay, so this is what I have right now. The keyboard is so small, I like it's not really so small. Like you can look at my hand, it's like if it looks like a tablet, like I like can work for. You guys in a tablet, you guys in an iPad. You can use it for your laptop too. So it's very small, very portable. It will contain your bag. So as you can see, yeah, I like the keys. The keys are so soft. And according to what you can see here, if you check what I have right here, right here. So it indicates that it will connect to three devices. As you can see, three devices. Probably not really simultaneously. Like I could switch from one Bluetooth device, one Bluetooth input to another. So that makes it so good. So we are going to be testing that. I'm going to be connecting it with my laptop and also the tab. So we are going to see the functionality and how it works. So this makes sense. So let's try to put it on. Let's put it on. Okay, so at the back here, yeah, you got to, whenever you buy yours, you have to open yeah, this pack and you have to remove this kind of safety sticker. So why this is here is to prevent the battery from draining. So remove this, then cover it back. Let's go. Okay, so uh, let's put it on. Yeah, this is the switch button. I put it on, the light comes on. So as you can see, the light. So I think that's nice. It's trying to search before it's Bluetooth. Let's put it off. Let me bring my tab and let's see how it works. Okay, so I am here, as you can see, uh, I'm putting it side by side with the, my tab and the keyboard. This is a uh, Samsung Tab X6, as you can see right here. So, can you see the size? I think Samsung Tab S6. I think Samsung Tab X6 is 11 inches, if I'm correct. 11 inches, so it's just a little bit more than 11 inches. Go for your tab, can you see? This is the um, G16. So you can see, so this is another Logitech product. This is a Logitech mouse. It's connected to the laptop. So I'm going to be checking all these out. So let's go. And let's, let's see what is going to, I was going to work with the tab. Let's see how it's going to work with the tab. So Samsung Dex is here right now. Keyboard is here. I need to put it on from the side here. So when I put the keyboard on, just trying to the light starts blinking here. So I need to know. If it, uh, I'll make sure my Bluetooth is on. So as my Bluetooth is on, so I'm going to long press this F1. So I'm let's say device one. F1 means like one, two, three. So it's in the case that I could connect to three devices separately you can work with three devices maybe i have them here so i can work with three of them so i'm going to connect device one which is the tab i'm connecting device one i need to press this down as i press this down as it starts blinking so i need to so this is ready to pair i need to come up here check on my bluetooth here 
see if there's any available device so oh that's all so i need to pull it down as you can see keyboard kp8 so i pull that up so it's asking me to input the code and press enter on the keyboard so i have it here one two three seven eight this and i press enter so that successfully paid so that's basically what i have so you can see that's connected successfully i can work with this like i'm working with a windows laptop if i press on starts as you can see i have my menus right here so i can click on starts i can search let's search chrome as you can see chrome is being searched i click on enter then it comes up search there are a lot of features that you can actually work on here I can screenshot as you can see right here that's a screenshot button here so if i just probably click on function and this can you see that snapshot take a snapshot that's very nice and fantastic so you can take a snapshot uh, there are some major keys here like volume button so you can see the volume button works the volume button works um yeah volume button works so it makes sense i could play music let me see if i have a music playing right in the background. I don't think I have any music playing. Yeah, I have a music playing. Yeah, I have this playing. Wow, that makes sense. So I could pause that music. So I have a music paused. And I could also view my tabs like... Let's click this. Can you see? I have the these are the number of tabs I have open. Can you see the number of apps I have open? So. Let's go back. This actually makes sense. So I can click home. I have home. Can you see? So this actually makes a lot of sense. And I really, let me go to notes. Let's type something out. Let me create a new note. Let me create a new note. So here uh, I can see, let me type a new note like, welcome to my unboxing. It can be like, welcome. Uh, it's very fast like it's the response is just as instant welcome to my unboxing video yaddy 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 like that my name is matthew so this makes a lot of sense like i'm so impressed about this keyboard like the response time control a or or the normal shortcut that you could know on um, Windows Control Z, it works. I could copy it, I could paste it. As you can see, I could paste, I could paste, I could keep pasting. So it makes a lot of sense. You see, like this is very nice. The keyboard is actually very nice and it's something I could recommend. Yeah, I got this for 48,000. If you need uh, a link to get it, you see my link in the description below, in the description of this video here. Yeah. So, it's very authentic, like, looks very nice. So, that is basically what, and I'll also be connecting it. As you can see, uh, there's also something I need to show you. It can also connect with an app. There's a dedicated app for Logitech um, devices. For instance, this mouse I'm using. Yeah, that's an app. This is it. M280 the mouse and I've been using it for more than a year right now and it has been working perfectly for me. So that's the app functionality can actually work for the laptop. So as you can see the tab connected it successfully and it makes some sense. So let's move to the laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna be connecting it with the laptop right here, as you can see. Uh, I connected it with the tab earlier, so I'm gonna be connecting it with the laptop. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, there is a there's an app. There's an app that's a dedicated Logitech app that you can use to know the battery life of your device. You can use to select, make some custom settings to your keyboard, your mouse, or whatever how you want it. So let me open the. I have the app installed here on my. Let me first let's let's connect the mouse first. Let's see. So here, as you can see, as I'm pressing, as I'm whatever I'm pressing is currently responding on the. I have that responding on the tab. So, but now I want to work on the laptop. So let's go. Let me get that off. Okay, so let me go to my settings and add a new device. Let me add a new device. Mm, add device, as you can see. 
our device so bluetooth device so let me go on two so i need i'm connecting the second device the second device is this so i need to long press number two as you can see it is blinking this one has been disconnected as you can see the on-screen keyboard is on so this one is currently blinking and i can see it's right here and it, it's this scanning it's this scanning right here let me cancel it out this scan again it's still blinking oh i have it here keyboard k380 so when i click here so when i click the keyboard so it's currently connecting so it's asking me to input a code as you can see right here so let me put the code here on the keyboard so it can connect so i have 88363 so you need to press it as fast as possible then enter so it can connect so that's connected successfully so let me press the start as you can see that started responding so let's have it so as you can see it starts that started responding right here so that's connected so uh the multi-functionality like switching from one device to another that is exactly what i want to test right here because i have connected i've initially connected it with this tab i have connected with this tab and also i connected it with the laptop here so let us see um what they said it can do so let us test it out so i'm currently on the laptop currently connected to the laptop so let's imagine i want to switch to my tab i have something i need to just quickly take note let's imagine i'm taking note on my tab and i'll be using my laptop okay let me switch to my tab then i just need to long press this as i long press this i think it has connected then as i type oh wow it's already responding there i type it responds i click my stats it's responding there. as i let me switch to my laptop then i just need to press this down i need to press device 2 I press device to it disconnects from the tab and it comes to the laptop. Let me click on one. So I click on one. It's connect here. That's fast. Let's make control C and continue pasting here. I think it was fast. So let me just press number two. Then I need to switch to the next laptop. Then the next laptop is here. So that is that's pretty fast. One, I'm coming back to this tab. It's connected. I'm typing. Coming back to the laptop, I just press two. Then I'm back to the laptop. Then it's working. I think this this, this is nice. I think this is a very good feature. So I, okay, so there is the app. I told you there is a dedicated app for that. So the Logitech give you the ability to have um, to have custom settings for your devices. So I have the um, app logged in here. Log Logi Option Plus so if you can see it's very well so i click on that it's currently loading so as you can see it's loading 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 so it's, it has as you can see it has identified it has detected my two device and launch feature store so let's go on so easy switch as you can see here yeah. Actually, yeah. Let's go through it. 